Hey guys, my name is Julia, I'm a painter and studio artist and welcome back to my channel. One of my subscribers asked me how to make realistic landscape in Blender. This hit close home to me and when I started learning Blender, I wanted to make something like that, something not difficult. I think this video can help you understand Blender better. I will show you easy way and if you are interested, I will make this more realistic. But today I will show you how to make it faster and easier. My channel about CD modeling and I want to perfect my style, my workflow and my level in CD modeling. I share my experience and my progress. So if you want to know more about CD modeling of your and studio artist, subscribe to my channel to progress together. CD modeling is pretty easy and I will show you that. Let's do it together. Let's start. Go to Blender. After I deleted this default cube, I have to choose Cycle Render Engine. It will work with Cycle, Future Set Experimental. In this tab subdivision, I have to change Dyson Rate Render to 3 number. In Object Mode, Shift A, Mesh Plane. I need to scale this plane. Also, I change the size viewport value to 3 number 2. Ctrl A scale. In this way, I reset the scaling by coordinates. You can check this by hotkey N in the transformation section. Modifier properties. Add modifier subdivision surface. I need to choose simple tab and put a tick next to adaptive subdivision. In the bottom window, you need to change it to Shade Editor. This is the window for our nodes. Before we start in setting up material, we need to add light. Go to World Properties and I will add Dynamic Sky. I have video about how to work with this add-on. If you don't know yet, link to this video in the description. I'm doing the same, but in the top color I have to select Sky Texture. Now we have additional settings. Now I'm creating new material in the window shade editor. I have my node, you can move and connect them. To add a new node, shift A and now we have new list. So shift A vector displacement. And connect to material output. Again shift A noise texture connect color with height. Then go to Options, Settings and select Displacement and Bump. For the last, now I'm going creating something, Shift A, Color Ramp. Now I will show you how it works. We need to put this value somewhere in the middle. Now I got to change the scaling value. I will try to find a middle ground, but you can use what you like best. In top detail, I gotta change it to 8, yeah, you know, it look better.
go to work properties and now I wanted to change my light setting. It's important part so we can change ozone, dust, air. Now I will show you the middle settings but at the end of video I will change them because I want to make different render of the weather. After I have finished setting up my light, I need to create water, add another window in Blender, I have to add a new plane. Now I need to change settings, move it below, be sure to change the size. I'm going to use Ocean Modifier, in fact, you can create animation your water with this modifier. If you want to make atmospheric video when the water will move, this is a good way. I have video on my channel about that, so if you are a beginner, this video can help you understand how it works. So I speed up this process, link to this video in the description. After we finish it with water, if you want to see how to animate this water, then you can watch it in my video, the link to this video in the description. I will show you how the texture works. It doesn't not feel so well, you will need additional configuration or add some centuries. But if you don't need a detailed environment, for example, this can be used in the game as a long shot, in this case it works fine, it's far away, it works better with basic light, like creating white or grey mountains, I will show you how to do it. Add new camera, in fact the camera is created from the perspective in which your viewport is. Now I will show you how to set up this scene and then you will learn how to change different settings for the color of the sky mountains.
So how to make render? Go to the tab Render and Render Image. You can set up the render, cycle rendering is in squares and you need to wait for the computer to complete the operation. Choose a base color, in this case you can simply create atmospheric snow scene. Also now I will show you how you can change the color and customize the scene itself. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was useful and interesting for you. See you in my new interesting videos. It was your favorite CG Bear channel.